This is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. Another owl. Look at this. Anybody know? Look at this owl. It's a little beat up on the front here, the but it might be shine. Might be able to shine it up. It's got a really nice chain. Just a lobster claw clasp. No, no maker's mark. Nothing, no marking on the back. But what can we do? What can we put in behind here to test this? This is. Magnifying glass. There you go. It's a little beat up, but it's a magnifying glass. So a third owl. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'd take that jewelry hunting with me or not. I was going to say I think I found another bracelet, but no, I found... Now this is the third one. Okay, here, again, a chain with a hook. Were those three necklaces supposed to chain together somehow? It doesn't make any sense because this is, well, okay, we've got, yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, maybe it's a way of storing them. You hang them up by the lobster claw, but they're, they're long. This is pl uh, plastic faceted beads, not flaceted, um, with a metal, hollow metal mesh ball and a little dangle that's slightly tangled. So again, a pretty, uh, a lightweight, but pretty, you know, very wearable necklace. I like these um, metallic coated beads that are on the dangle and on the uh, either side of the uh, wire mesh ball. And I like these. These are nice faceted beads. Um, once again, why does it have a lobster claw clasp but no, nothing to attach it to? Well, we're, we are getting toward the bottom. I think I see more rings. I do. Okay, so in um, our How Light series of turquoise colored rings, here's another ring. So that's one, two, three. Oh, I'm going to include that one. Four, five, six of those rings. Plus, here's a How Light stone. Just a. A plain stone it looks maybe it goes with that bracelet that or whatever with stones oh here's a few stones um, that are loose and they probably go on with that little uh, remember that little bead I found with something broken so still only one pair of uh, earrings and one brooch but I see some more rings here's a sort of a pseudo uh, opal looking ring it's just like glitter um, oh it's not a, not too small either again in that seven and a half range not like I need more rings but there's so there's one more ring here's um, the silver tone version of this uh, gold tone antler ring if you again if you know what meaning these have or if they belong to a specific TV show or something Please let me know. Um, here's a pendant. This is the first pendant we've had by itself, a swallow, with some nice uh, enamel and aurora borealis rhinestones. Very pretty. Textured on the back, but no marking. So no idea of the maker. Um, here's a little ring that's just a uh, very lightweight. I don't know if it's metal might even be plastic so very lightweight uh, sorry I knocked my lamp uh, lightweight silver tone ring I thought I saw some more oh no this is okay these are unusual this I found another pair of earrings and this one's missing a piece so here's a pair um, blown glass they're not, they look like they're solid balls. They're, they've got a little weight to them. Um, a pair of earrings. This one's missing the ear wire, but that should be an easy fix. So now that I've answered the phone, I'm back to finish off with the jewelry jar. Um, we have a little bit more than this um, to go through because I've taken some out to try to detangle it. And uh, you know how that always takes a little bit of time. But let's continue on. Here's a bracelet. Uh, a stretchy bracelet 
Um, it's got some kind of discoloration. Oh, it looks like just something got spilled on some of the rhinestones. Um, yeah, you can see there's kind of this whitish stuff on it. Let's see if we can... Yeah, so that... And that can be cleaned off, I think. There's two spots here. I see one of them. These are somehow attached. I'm not sure. If you look on the inside... Not sure if those are glued. They look kind of like they're glued. So there's one of the missing ones that could be replaced and then maybe another missing one is inside there. So with some cleaning and repair, this would be kind of a cool bracelet to wear. Nice, nice snug, uh, whoops, there we go, nice snug cuff, but comfortable, like it's not too heavy, like I could and if you need to slug somebody, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so there's a, an, yet another bracelet. This is the jar that keeps on giving. I see if I find some more pieces to go with it. Uh, a second watch. Oh, look at this. This is a Wiggles watch, and it's working. Well, if you can see the, the time flashing there. The Wiggles uh, were a musical group that had a, a TV show. Um... I don't know if they're still around. I mean, obviously, that it's been new, uh, worn. It's uh, a little messed up there. But copyright 2000, the Wiggles tour, touring, PTY Limited, PC case and PC back. I'm not sure what PC means. It's probably the type of plastic involved. So hey, there's a kids' watch. I'm not sure what I can do with that. Here's another ring. It just looks like a, a silver tone ring. It's very scratched. I'm not sure if that's repairable on the top. A good size. Simple. Kind of an average size. I don't see any markings or any information. That doesn't, it, because of the, the scratching and so on, it just looks like, um, like a rhodium coating that's scratching off but yet another ring I think I this is I think a record amount of rings that I found here's two one two three more rings here's just uh I don't know if it's metal or not it's almost feels like plastic very lightweight gold tone ring and maybe it pairs up with this one here's a, a sort of a topaz smoky topaz colored stone um and this could go with uh the green one that's in here, they kind of all have the same type of band. And then there's uh, one with another, another one with an anchor. So I'm not sure the source of all these. This is very thin, lightweight, but again, about a seven and a half. Um, I, I just saw, I found, I found another owl. So I, I got distracted because it's one earring to go with our owl collection, but I haven't found the other one yet. So, I, and I just dropped something on the floor. I think it was a bead. I'm not gonna worry about it, but I'm hoping that the other, there it is. Okay, so really nice articulated pair of uh, owl earrings. Aren't they sweet? A lot of movement. They're lightweight. They're, uh, I don't see. That dent in the back is just a dent. It's not a, a maker's name. So there's a really nice uh, set of owl earrings. So one, two pairs of earrings intact, another pair of earrings that uh, missing um, the ear wire. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, here's a third pair of earrings. Save these for next year. A little set of uh, cute little candy cane earrings. Nice coloring. The green putting the, the green and white for the candy canes and, and then the white bows. Little teeny tiny rhinestone in there. So those are quite nice. Another pair of earrings. Um, I'm seeing a few. Oh, here's uh, the piece for this uh, earring that's just come loose. So that'll be, uh, there we go. There's a quick repair. I'll do it. I'll uh, do it more securely. So those um, glass balls are done. Here's um, 
a set of amethyst beads. So amethyst stone beads on a stretchy bracelet, not overstretched. Those are always useful. Nice to have both the tiger's eye and the amethyst. Uh, real stones. There's an, an odd bead. Um, oh, here's another ring. Here's an arrow ring. Maybe it goes with... I don't know. It doesn't really fit. You can't really put anything else with these um, antler ones. So I'm not sure what what that uh, means or what it's for. Oh, another pair of earrings. Well, these are nice. Look, these are shell. Look at the beautiful color of the shell. And this is a design I've never seen. So let me figure out how it all goes together. Nice uh, gold tone lever backs. And then, okay, so it hangs this way. Um, so I guess it's, oh, I guess that's the front. There we go. Um, don't mind me. The, uh, so two glass beads, one on a chain and the piece of uh, carved shell. Those are really pretty earrings. I would wear those. So another pair of earrings. No single earrings so far. Um, just have to get through everything. Uh, another ring. Um, just a flat disc with some little embellishments on it there. So we'll add that to the ring pile. Another piece of uh, stone or faux stone. Um, here's a pair of earrings kind of look like um, lightning lightning bolts perhaps there's uh, writing on the back of them trademark and copyright WB looks like WBB copyright 14 I don't know it's are these from uh, um, is this like Warner Brothers television or movie symbol for like some sort of superhero. Um, so there's a pair of earrings. If you know, like uh, the Flash wouldn't wear, he wouldn't wear earrings, but I guess the Flash's girlfriend could. But I'm not sure what the light, who the lightning bolt symbol belongs to, what character. Um, I think I see another pair of earrings. Just a little tangled up here. These ones look like they just were taken off of their uh, card. There's um, a little. These are very lightweight. So pearl, rhinestone, and leaves. Chandelier earring. Very wearable, lightweight, pretty, but a pair. Pairs are always good. Um, Let's see if I can find the end of this. Okay, here's um, a lobster claw uh, closure silver tone chain, a nice nice chain, nice weight, nice feel to it. Has a, uh, a one wing and a little glass container of something. Oh, there's a little crack in there. But, hey, you wouldn't know it if you're wearing it. I don't know if that's salt just nothing um, but uh, again a modern more of a teenage uh, type of necklace here's uh, a pretty witch pendant necklace and again an, uh, a nice silver tone chain lobster claw clasp lobster claws working Oh, it was work, sort of working. Oh, no. The lobster, oh. The lobster claw clasp it needs to be put back together properly. I just, I, when I opened it, the spring came out. So I'm not sure if that's repairable. But um, yeah, easily replaceable. So a nice chain, a nice uh, necklace. There's still more. Here's... Uh, Looks to be a, like a broken part of a ring that had a little glass stone in it. So that's too bad that it's broken. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, a bit of a tangle here. Here's a bracelet from Q 
Cuba. Looks like, I don't know if those are polymer or they don't feel quite like wood. They're kind of grainy, but uh, a nice macrame uh, bracelet and uh, just missing whatever was glued on the end of the closure here. So that's, uh, I'm not sure how that could be repurposed. Finding um, a few more odd be beads, random beads. And here's a pendant. Shines up. This probably just needs a good polish. I don't know if that's onyx on the back. I don't see any markings on the surrounding or on the bale. This looks like shell, like a mussel shell or seashell that's been polished. Um, so never see, quite seen it like that. Usually you see more mother of pearl, but that's got the whole, all the layers of the shell in the center. So um, handmade piece, I would assume. I, I wish I could tell what kind of backing that was, like what kind of material that was. Um, I have to clean it up. But nice, interesting, interesting looking piece. Here's another pendant, just needs a chain. It's got a couple letters on the back. It says copyright. You know what? I think if we can get this in the light correctly. Um, you look at, first of all, we look at the front, we look at those gorgeous shiny stones, and then we look at the back. There we go. Not sure if we can get it without, but that symbol there on the right hand side, there's a copyright, and I'm pretty sure that's the Swarovski swan. So I would say that this is a Swarovski pendant. It certainly has the flash of the beautiful rhinestones that you would find. And it's well made and it will shine up quite nicely, clean up very nicely on the back there. A um, little bit of clean up on the stone, but um, hey, that's uh, as good as finding something sterling. Beautiful, beautiful Swarovski pendant. Here's a pentagram pendant. Maybe we'll put this with the little witch um, necklace, put them together. And what else have we got? You can hear some clinking in the background because this is where I've got to detangle a few things. I'm just hoping stuff will fall out as I lift it up. Okay, so this is um, Lobster Claw Clasp with three um, snake chains and there's stationary balls um, on one of the chains. So I'm trying to get to the other end. And maybe then I can detangle it from whatever's caught in it. Okay. Okay, so this is a, a very wearable. I'm not sure if I can show it, how well I can show it. but So it's three strands. There we are. Go this way. No, I think I'm going to go back up and I'm going to sort of lay it down. There you can see the three strands with the silver balls on it. So that's a nice long necklace. It's a good, easily 24 inches. Very wearable. It's not discolored, it's not chipping or anything. Um, no maker's marks on either ends or the clasp. So, but a nicely made, uh, very wearable sort of classic necklace. Wow. This jar just keeps on giving. What's this? I thought this was maybe a... Uh... This is unusual. Okay, so here has a, here's a dangle. I've got too much glare on it. Let's see if I can hold it this way. There. It's a heart with dots. Now, for some reason that makes me think of Stella and Dot, but I don't think that's their symbol unless it's an older symbol. So this is a necklace, a two strand necklace with an, uh, a lovely hook closure and uh, it's kind of a yellowish metal so I don't think it's silver. There's certainly no marking. Um, it's probably just a 
what we call a pot metal, a generic combination metal. And these are just fake coin designs. Don't really say anything special. It says on the back, what has it got on the back here? Con I don't think it's supposed to be any real, unless that's supposed to be like Republic. Uh, I'll look at it clo more closely another day, but it's got these nice little um, faceted drops, and it's got a nice sound to it. So I think that would be um, a pretty necklace to wear. There we go. Put it down on the table, and there you go. See it a little better. Another necklace. I think we're like what, ten or so necklaces. Here's a. Oh, a little hematite handmade ring. Well, that's nicely made. Look how pretty that is. Look how it's simple it is, but it's done with the red. It's using a little, losing a little bit of color on the wire there. So there's a, 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 good, a, a good idea of how to uh, use up some beads and make a ring. Look at the pile of rings we have. This is just crazy. Uh, you just never know what the jewelry jar is going to give you. Here's another pair of earrings, and I've never seen hoops with this design, but there's a little flat spot on them. Okay, so they're big hoops. They're kind of a gold color, goldish color, I think. But there's a flat spot right here on the wire, and it looks like there's something written there. So I'm going to put it up to my eye and look because I, I'm not very good with the... Uh, it's so teeny tiny. That little flat piece has three different symbols on it. One of it says 925 and then there's two other symbols. So that's, uh, there's some research for me. Another piece of sterling. Uh, and Hallmark, not just, uh, not just stamped 925. I mean, I would have to think that if somebody went to the trouble of flattening and um, stamping that, it, it was probably real silver because that would be way too much work if you were faking it. <laughs> so, does that make any sense? Okay, so this is an air, uh, uh, like a lariat necklace. It's got a an infinity knot here. And it goes all the way up and is tangled in with another necklace. Okay, so let me go back here. So this is just a, a modern silver tone necklace with the two uh, bars on the end, snake chain, um, knotted together, lobster claw clasp, no markings. And in the lobster claw clasp, the uh, brass is starting to show through. Not sure what I'll do with that. It, the chain might be useful. And then it was tangled up with this arrow. This is the third arrow type piece we found. So these are, um, there's a knot in the chain, that's okay. So there's arrows of different sizes that slide on the chain. If I can get them all to come together, we can see we have a lovely little uh, chevron pattern. So those are nice, nice and thick. Just could need a little shining. It's a uh, a nice quality chain. No marking. Uh, lobster claw clasp. No marking, but in excellent shape. So um, this was a, as I said, this was a ten dollar um, Canadian jewelry jar. And I think we're down to like 25 cents a piece or 30 cents a piece for the number of pieces found in here, which is really unusual. So this is sort of a, a brassy colored chain. And as you can see, oh, there's something stuck in it. Another ring. <laughs> Great. Oh, this goes with our... Here's a, We'll do the ring. It goes with our anchor ring. There we go. It's a pair of rings anchor and uh, a ship's wheel. Now, you can't really wear those together. I suppose you could wear them side by side. Wear them on different fingers. 
Um, I don't know if I saw another earring in there. Anyway, this uh, is a like a fringe necklace, I guess you would call it, because there's chains hanging off of it everywhere, and and some beads. It's a little tangled up, and it feels very grimy. Like, ugh, this needs a good wash. But um, I doubt it'll get any brighter. I think that's probably just the color of the chains. It's so consistent, even on the clasp, that that sort of uh, dull, bronzy color is what it was intended to be. Um, I like the little thin chain that everything's attached to. Um, not sure. I would never wear this particular style, but some people um, it looks really good on. I'd be I'd be obsessing about getting all the chains hanging in the right way. Um, if I tried to wear it, I don't know. But there, lots of lots of movement. Um, attractive in on the right outfit. Yet another necklace. Wow. And I've just got a few little pieces to dump out. Um, oh, finally. Okay. So here's a pair of earrings. Uh, post earrings. They're a little grimy. Um, not a bad style. I'm pretty reasonable shape. Some of the colors coming off at the top there. So I might just repurpose those. Um, some ceramic and glass beads, um, kind of just random pieces, off, probably off a neck, off of a bracelet. Here's another, uh, the other half of that broken ring. Here is, um, a necklace. It's broken, but I think it's easily repaired. It's just a lobster claw clasp, and the chain's a little knotted up. But here's the main part of the necklace. It says, Wish. And this little cap goes on this little glass, uh, I guess it just glues on here. I'm not sure if you can see, but inside of here are a couple of dandelion seeds. The kind you blow the dandelion and all the little seeds helicopter off into the distance when you make a wish. So there's a, another repairable uh, necklace in good shape. Here's a little earring, um, just a little stud earring, a diamond shape, only one. Here's a little earring, um, pineapple shape, only one. Here's a little earring with some blue rhinestones, nice lever back. But uh, it doesn't look like it's marked, and there's only one. There's a little rhinestone off of something in a star. And here's a flamingo earring, only one. So that's not one, two, three, four single earrings. Here's a two flowers that we're missing from this bracelet. We have them. They just have to be glued back in. So we'll uh, figure out a way to repair that bracelet. And I have a funny little bead off of something. And then our final piece is a medical alert bracelet. Um, yeah, so medical alert bracelet. Um, below the information on the bracelet, like way down here, it says, R-O-G space S-T-E-R. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see that close up in the, especially since there's all that other uh, information. Kind of see it there. Roger S-T-E-R. So I think this is like supposed to be Roger Sterling, like Rogers does Sterling um, cutlery and silver other silverware. Um, so I don't, I don't know what this would be worth for scrap. I'd have to, to uh, weigh it. Um, and I'll have to double check that that's what it means. But I see even on here on the lobster claw clasp, if we can get that in the right in there. Let me see if I can zoom in. 
a little bit. There's the marking there. I think that says 925. Let me double check. Yeah. So this is silver. Wow. So we got this. We've got this isn't silver, but it's Swarovski. We have these silver earrings. So I thought they were gold tone, but I'm it's probably just they need to be polished. And the um pearl necklace where the pearls were all falling apart. Whoops, excuse me, sorry. Where the pearls were all falling apart, which I'm not sure where I put it now. The pearl necklace also had a sterling clasp. So surprisingly, some sterling pieces in here. A ton of rings. Like I've never seen that many rings. Um, and I didn't count every piece, but I bet um, for $10, there's 30 to 40 pieces in here. So um, 25 to uh, 30 cents or 25 cents a piece, which is just amazing um, when you consider everything that, we, that was uh, found and how usable everything was. Um, hope you've enjoyed looking at this interesting jewelry jar with the great, how they got two great big... Uh, bracelets plus everything else in that jar is amazing and this is a nice crystal jar uh, you know crystal dish um, only two watches so uh, three silver pieces and a Swarovski two natural stone pieces um, like real natural stone uh, amethyst and uh, tiger's eye plus tons of howlite which is usually a uh, I think of more as a manufactured stone, even though, because uh, it's dyed and they do other things. It's They crush it and glue it back together. Um, all those cool owl pieces. Articulated owl earrings. The owl magnifying glass. The owl and flower necklace. The owl sitting on a branch necklace. So, uh, hey... Sometimes you just pick the right ones and you don't have to worry uh, whether you got your money worth because you picked the right jar. Thanks. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye for now.